Well, today, Stefan, I'm going to talk to you about your grandpa, Clarence Nurgard, my husband, the dearest, kindest man there ever could be, gentle and loving. He loved his family. He loved his grandchildren dearly, and we spent... 48 years together, and in October 30th, going on three years ago, he passed away. So now I'm going to tell you about his ancestry to begin with, his Clarence's, your grandpa's grandfather and grandmother came from Norway. Their names were Christian and Marin Norgard. Her maiden name was Anderson. They came from Sparbu, Norway, and settled at first in Lanesboro, Minnesota. And then in the year 1881, they settled in Scandia Township, Barnes County, our county in which we live, and homesteaded a half section of land. And now this area is known as Hastings, North Dakota, south of our city of Valley City. To this marriage of Clarence's grandpa and grandmother, there were eight children born, and their names were Lawrence, Minnie, Ben, Christian, Clarence's dad. He was named after his father. Clarence's dad's name was Christian, and he married a lady known as Maddie Simonson. And to this marriage, two sons were born, your grandpa Clarence and Vernon, his brother, who was a year younger. Clarence was your grandpa was born in Fargo, June 3rd, 1909, and uh, I have no knowledge as to why they lived in Fargo such a short time, I presume just a year or so, and then they moved back to Valley City, which was your grandpa's home all the years of his life and our married life. His father, Chris, was employed in the United States Post Office, and as Clarence grew up, he often uh, went with his d dad on this rur rural mail route, route which he uh, had all the years that he lived. Clarence grew up in a small house on 2nd Street, 306 being the number, and attended the Lincoln School, which is now a home for uh, unfortunate children. They are known as group homes. He attended Valley City Public School and High School, and it's the same location to which Wally attended to finish high school, and the same location in which you and Mary and Anne have attended. While Clarence was in high school, he was he loved tennis. That was his great sport. But he also had a, a talent in music. And he sang in the choir and participated in group um, awards. He played the trombone. And needless to say, he cared more about his trombone and even becoming a part of a small band in high school, uh, not so much interested in studying. He had lots of fun, and his teachers enjoyed him, but uh, he lost a lot of sleep, as his mother would tell me, in playing nights with this small dance group. And as he grew up and graduated, he... he um, when he finished high school, he did not attend college. He went, became a part of a six-piece dance 
orchestra, and uh, they played like three, four dances a week because this was the era in the 30s and 40s of big-time dance bands. And they uh, played for college dances. And like we had a ballroom in Valley City, which sounds strange now, a small town dance halls, Fingal, Hillcrest Barn Dance, Big Hyatt's Barn Dance, and they even traveled into Montana and South Dakota. And uh, while he was playing with Doc Haynes, Doc Haynes, Haynes was a uh, college attended college here, but he was very musical, and so Clarence was part of his band for much of the time. They even did some noon hour entertaining 